So, it's the first, uh, it's a question number two in the tutorial book. There are a few parts there. I will do part B. We discuss with you part A also sometime. So, the map there is the map which takes R4 into R3. And the question gives the explicit uh, formula for this map. Here it is. T of X. It will be three-dimensional vector. It will be three, a triple of numbers. And that's how you take these numbers. First component, negative 2x1 plus 5x3. 6x1 take 8x2 plus double x4. And the last component is negative 2x1 plus 4x2 take 3x3. Here, we just this is we use a normal convention that x1, x2, x3, and x4 are components of my x vector from R4. So there was such a map in question two. The question two requi uh, required to required you to show that this is a linear map, and but I'm not gonna, I'm not going to do that. Well, we just assume that it is already shown that it is a linear map. Now, knowing it is a linear map, we can now recover the matrix of this linear map exactly exactly by the by the lines along the lines of the proof of the matrix representation theorem from my previous slide from this slide I just showed you if I take a basis the standard basis of R4 we have four elements here all I have to do well here's the just a quick reminder for you what the components of those basis vectors are is my E1 vector is my E2 vector E3 vector, and finally E4, it's the one which has unity in the last component, and the rest components, the rest of the components are zero. So here's the exact explicit expressions for my basis vectors. All I do now, I apply my T to each individual vector of my basis, and that's very easy. I just take these components and sub in here, right? So when I compute T of E1, it will be negative 2, 6 and negative 2. That's the value of T on E1. When I compute T of E2, that's the components of E2. Uh, we don't have E2 here. Uh, so we don't have x 2 here, so it's 0 in the first component. Negative 8 and 4. So 0, negative 8 and 4. T of E3. These are the components of E3. Uh, it will be 5. Nothing in here, so 0, and negative 3. 5, 0, negative 3. And final value, T of E4. Now I use these components. No E4 in the first component, so it is 0. You've got plus 2 here, and again 0 for the last component because it doesn't carry any, doesn't carry any x4. So here will be 0, 2, 0. I just follow the lines of the proof of my matrix representation theorem. And now what I do, I just take these four vectors as the columns of my matrix. So now I say that my T of X, it's simply matrix multiplication linear map, where matrix A is the one which has these vectors as columns. So it's the first row will be negative 2, 0, 5, 0, 6, negative 8, 0, 2. It's the second row from here. Negative 2, 4, negative 3, and 0. And that's the end of the question.